Hi, I'm uh, Tracy Nasrella, and I got a question today. Uh, two people actually asked me um, if Flipgrid could be used with primary students. So I thought about it, and I think it can. And I want to show you how I would use it with primary students. I'm a really heavy user of Flipgrid. I use it all the time with my grade sixes. And when I taught grade four last year, we used it all the time. Um, but because we're trying to communicate with our students remotely this time, um, you might have to do things a little differently since you can't be in the classroom to actually show the students how to use it. So this is what I came up with. So um, you just log into Flipgrid. Um, if uh, you've never logged on before, you're just going to log in here, educator sign up. Um, I'm already logged in and you just use your Google sign in. Um, I, you can see I use Flipgrid quite a bit. Um, so the way I normally use a Flipgrid is, I'll show you. I use our school email address, then I create it. Um, we have a different um, school email than our students. So you also have to add our students um, email address as well, um, or they won't be able to have access to it. So then when you press next, um, you can copy this code and the students will automatically be able to gain access to your grid. So here you can you can uh, change things up, you can edit it, um, you can change the pictures and how you want to be notified, you can um, personalize it, you can add lots of things. Um, it makes it really fun. Um, so, um, and then here you can just add any topic that you want. Now, but with Littles, I was thinking that if they're using their parents' computer, they might not be signed into their school Google account and that'll make it more difficult for them to log in if they've never uh, changed their password or if you've never changed their password or if all their tech cards are at school and they just don't know how to do it. This is how I would do it um, with Littles. So grade one, grade two, maybe even grade three if they've never used um, Flipgrid before. So you're just going to add a new grid. But instead of using school email, I'm going to use student ID. So um, here's test two. Next. So then you add your students in. I'm just going to add my dog. And then you can give them a student ID. So I'm going to give him bone one. So then it'll create a QR code for that student. And um, what the parents can do is they could just print it at home or they can just take a picture of it with their cell phone. And then the way it works is um, the student would just go to Flipgrid, like I'm gonna do here, flipgrid.com. And then they're going to put in their flip code. Um, but if you just click here, the QR, oops, the QR code reader comes on. I, I didn't do my hair today, sorry. And then if I put it right up, it'll take them right to the flip grid. And that's super easy. And then all they have to do is press the plus sign and then enable their browser. And there you go. So that's an intro to Flipgrid. I hope that um, helps you out.